last week there was a big like discrepancy that even like a big like argument from people talking about whether student well it started in California they were passing a bill that would like allow students to like make money off of something I don't know exactly the full details about it basically anytime a company uses their likeness like uh, for instance like if there was another uh, NCAA game made mm. and they use their names the players would be able to get paid for that or like jersey sales and shit like that using their name they'd be able to get paid for that and uh, I mean it's pretty straightforward just yeah. anytime they use their name and their likeness and anything that's not just on the field they can get paid for it well I feel very strongly about the subject I say well let's start with what Tebow said I'm gonna just gonna go off of that um, Tebow said his sat up there with that tight ass suit on and said <laughs> In front of the camera with a straight face, with that little fake ass motivational speech. Oh, the passion! You gonna ruin the passion of college football? You know, I made the school made millions off of me, and I didn't ask for a dime. You know, and I was completely fine. Well, you know, all this bullshit. Yeah, go ahead, man. Yeah, let me go. Yeah, that's cap. Um, <laughs> big. Cap. Well, the thing is, my whole that's bullshit because money talks. So with money in my face, I'm gonna be motivated. So if I'm a scrub, I'm gonna be trying to be. I'm trying to be that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Right, I'm trying to get a check. Get I want. I want them to make money off me so I can get my check too. Mm-hmm. So that's off rip. Originally, I was kind of like iffy about it because I didn't know how they were going to, you know, uh, generate that money. Because um, the reality of it is, I get there. The football schools will make the most money, and if you have a good basketball program, um, so my only concern was, what about the other athletes? Which that's the only reason if NCAA was delegating or the school was delegating, you have to be fair, especially with Title Nine women. Yeah. That was the only thing that was my concern. But once I, I heard it was about like Nike, let's say you sign a shoe deal with Nike. Puma, Reebok, whatever, some mm-hmm. bullshit. Mm-hmm. That that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Because they chose, they actively chose a player that's private entities. So that to me makes sense. If the, you know, if they're gonna do that shit, get that money. Mm-hmm. I'm all for it because they deserve it, honestly. Um, if it's private entity. Now back to Tebow shit. Like I get that. That's all bullshit because money talks. That'll make me more hungry. And number two, even if he's coming back from like a humble Christian background, that's even more bullshit because. Um, I'm very Christian, so if someone was to give me the opportunity to catch this bag with all this money, and me knowing, like, with that mindset, that humble, you know, giving out mindset, you telling me I can't do more with, with money than I do with no money, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're really about, like, other people's shit, you catching a bag, a million dollars a year, you can feed a lot of people, you can do a lot of things in the community if, if that's your prerogative, and it's not about the money, you can use the money to disperse to other people who need it. That's just the way I feel about it. And if you're truly Christian, you probably saw firsthand himself, Tim Tebow, all the players that weren't you, Percy Harvin, Chris Lee, or whatever, that were struggling, had kids, had whole families coming from all over the country to play football for a chance of going to the NFL, and they're struggling. Like, they don't have money, and their, their future's not looking that great in football. So the fact that they can make at least something while they're in, the, in, in college means something. If you're a truly Christian, you would want them to have the opportunity to provide for their family. But you, being the trust fund baby you are, and having nothing but a silver spoon in your mouth your entire life, but that weak, ugly ass sweep over haircut you stay having since 2007, mm. and your steroid using ass, you know, bruh, Tim Tebow, bruh, like you weren't getting the grand a month talking about some old allowance, like you weren't getting meals sent you, like you couldn't walk into Publix and get whatever you wanted for free just because you're Tim Tebow, bruh. Let's not play that game. You were, bruh, anytime there's a big superstar player in, in Florida, in Gamesville, they're that dude. They can go wherever they want and they can eat for free just because they're that dude. Like that whole that, that whole thing that happened with um Jameis Winston with the crab legs, I've never bruh, then he then he didn't steal them. They bruh, he walked in, got them crab legs, they were like, bruh, you're good, just walk out. And then they saw on the cameras later, it was like, bruh, he ain't paying. And then they had a problem with it. But for real, how it is, is college athletes in the city they're at, they're th- those dudes. They get to do whatever they want. So you being Tim Tebow, I think at the time in 07, uh the, the jersey sales worldwide were LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, and Tim Tebow, or some shit crazy like that. Worldwide, bro. And you telling me that you were you were struggling. Hey, how bro said he said, bring me my money. <laughs> 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 <That's> <laughs> way, bro. Like, Swear to God, bro. Tim Tebow, you just sound stupid. You're like, oh, they made millions of dollars off of me, and I didn't get a dime, but I was fine with it. Like, cool? Like, nigga, you sound stupid as fuck. Like, yeah, they made millions of dollars off of you. You should see some of that. Like, it's such a fucking meaningless argument. Especially if game, if, if people are using your entity, your entity in your name to make money, you should see something from that. And 
Tim Tebow look. But it could also make restrictions on it. Like if I was right. NCAA, like me personally, like we're giving you education, use it. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I would even make it. Like this is how I feel about financial aid personally as well. Like you either put in the time and it shows. Like you know, you get, let's say you're not making the grades, but it's showing like, hey, you know, he came in and sent us or whatever. Yeah. They could put like restrictions. Like you gotta have X. You know, nothing crazy, but mm-hmm. you gotta have a a little bit higher than. Uh, playing eligibility to collect the check. Right. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? That that to me is also like, all right, they're not just really athletes. Because the reality of it is, you see a lot of the athletes and, you know, they tell the student athlete, but really they just be bullshitting. So, right. I True. mean, that's the reality of it is too. So, if we're going to give you something, you got to give us something back in return, whether that be mm-hmm. great, something in the community, hey, you got to do this, that, I think that would be dope too. And I'll make it fair. But at the end of the day, um, you can't tell me that nobody wants that check. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Bro. I don't care how old you are. And you could even, NCAA could even flip it in their favor. You could make it to where freshmen can only make this, like you could kind of stop the one and done thing. If you say, oh, freshmen can right. only make this amount of money and then sophomores make this amount of money and seniors make the most money, mm-hmm. niggas are going to have a reason to stay and try to get better. And then also you have the incentive of being a senior and making the most money. So even NCAA would make more money going through that because you'd have these players staying, staying and not being like, damn, nigga, like, I got to go to the league. I can't stay here because I'm not getting paid. Yeah. Like, Honestly, my situation, my like take on it is just, <laughs> I feel like if, if I'm sacrificing my body, okay, my prime years and my time, you know, not guaranteed an NFL contract, not guaranteed of getting drafted, you know, I feel like you owe me something instead of a sociology degree. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, you know, like, bro, like, I understand, you know, you want the small schools to be able to still get big recruits here and there and all that bullshit. Y'all can't just keep playing the what-if game forever. Like, these are real-life human being kids. You go up to their high school, make it feel special, use them for all their, use them for, for basically for money, and then throw them to the side, you want to the next kid. That's how I've seen college football, honestly. Like, I've seen it as, you know, it's cool, I love college football and everything, but, like, when you really look down into it, they're going to these kids that grew up poor, you know, Showing them, oh, you got to play the NFL, and you play the NFL, you know, come play for us, we'll take care of you, this and that. Well, um, we can't give you any money, but we all know they're still getting paid. But I feel like if the NCAA is making millions of dollars off of all these kids, they should get something. Like, if anything. Legally, something legally. Like, legally. Right, legally. Like, because, like, yeah, they are still getting paid. Not every athlete, but yeah. the big top recruit is still going to get paid. So sometimes I see stuff on Twitter where they're talking about, I find that maybe that was back in the day. But I find that very hard to believe now because, for example, I used to date a D1 athlete at a small university, and they had that shit made. Like, I mean, free rent. Like, this is volleyball. This is not even a guy sport. Right. It's not a small school that don't even have football. They got a rent paid for it, a nice-ass apartment, full, um, what's it called, meals for cafeteria. And now if you choose not to choose, that's on you. You know, you can take the money. Right. So. You got to make it run, but mm-hmm. you could have um, all three meals or unlimited meals at the cafeteria. Um, I know the basketball players were at least making 10, 10 grand a year, five grand each month, like in pocket based off like scholarships. Right. You know what I'm saying? And these, and these are like, this is at a small school that makes the lowest revenue in their conference. So that's how I know that people are making money because I've literally seen it firsthand. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've also heard of other shit at bigger schools, but I've seen that shit firsthand where like, damn, they got it made. All they got to do is show up to school and go to practice, straight up. Right. I mean, now, if, I, if other stuff's not working out for them, that's on them. They must have did something with their money that, you know. Mm-hmm. So, um, but I do still think that you're throwing your body on the line, you're making the money for the school, and they should, you know, compensate you back. Right. A little bit extra. Something right. like if you graduate, you know, with a degree, you guarantee you this kind of money, no matter who you are. If you were trash, you sat, you rolled the bench all four years, but you graduated, got a degree, stay out of the trouble. We owe you at least this for at least, you know, being at least on the fucking team. So I feel like anybody, any sport too, like, especially with girls, basketball, anything, like, I feel like people should get fucking paid. Or even um, yeah. back to what he said, with a degree, guarantee money, it don't have to be immediate. As long as they have the necessity now, like I said, they all should. I don't know how people don't, personally, at bigger schools especially. I don't yeah. know how people don't. Small schools, yeah, it's a totally different game. I'm talking about big D1 schools that, you know, generate money. I don't get how are. people... Um, can't make me ends meet because that shit should be paid for yeah. for the most part. I mean, unless you're just not a full full scholarship kid. Mm-hmm. But back to what Greg was trying to say and what I was trying to get at originally was, um, like, if you're gonna do that, put it in like a trust and ask her, hey, they don't get, they can't receive the money until graduation is complete. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It gives them an incentive to finish school to do what they want, and at least they know they're getting something back. 
Exactly. Or maybe an insurance, you know, something something different. Yeah. Yeah. You go there, you, you fuck up your knee like my like um the dude that played for um running back for South Carolina, Marshawn Lattimore, I think. Yeah. Or Marcus Lattimore, something like that. Kept fucking up his knee back to back and kept playing NFL really. Like I feel like people ACLs, especially and he was yeah, a great running back. He was an amazing player, but it's just like it just wasn't it just didn't work out. And I feel like in this place, he did, he put something on the map. Like he beat Bama that one year and they were number one. Like he was a great amazing player. I feel like some of that money should at least like, you know, go to him. Like people like that, like shit like that kinda of breaks my heart, bro, because like they put their body on the line, did all that shit for basically nothing. Nothing compared to what NCAA made off of them, basically for nothing. So like that situation I t- completely disagree with what Tim was saying. I understand what he was saying, but I completely disagree. Like I feel like like these are people, bro. Like these are kids, like they should at least get something. Like instead of just memories and glory days and like hoes and college in a in a free apartment. Like they need to the, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the C T E. You, you got here, we're gonna give you um, you know, fame on Twitter, you know, you get to play on T V and you and make me love off of you, all you get back is CTE, sociology degree, and we want to say you play for us. You know, <laughs> fair trade, you know what I mean? Give us the best years of your life, your prime, and you know we'll give you this back. You know what I mean? Like shit like that is just like fucking crazy. So I feel like especially in NCAA football, pay them pay them dudes, bro. Pay them niggas, bro. It can't hurt, like bro, you make millions every year all off of this shit. Y'all got. For real, bro. Like you think white people will pay white people will, will listen, these white people will pay for anything right. just for football, bro. These white people OJ did OJ made it, bro. This man OJ is living the life. He killed people, bro. Like, hey, if you play football, <laughs> nah, bro. These hey, people, bro. Hey, in the court of law, he, he was did. found innocent. So like I, I was say. saying, bro. Like I was saying, like <laughs> oh my God. white people will pay. They will. They. I promise you, the money will not be an issue, bro. Pay the jets, bro. Pay the young niggas, dog. They deserve it, you know. So that's my take on this shit. OJ did that shit. Shout out to OJ, though. Take care. Take care.